What is going on, my one and only Beast Mode programmers? It's Real Touch Gmail here, back with the third part in our side-scrolling game. Now, what we did in the past tutorials was we went ahead and created a system where you know our player shoots bullets, and you know we spawn enemies, and uh, you know we've got some collision working. Now, what we're going to do in this episode is create a sort of health system and a wave system right so let's go ahead and begin so I'm gonna start off by creating the uh, wave system now also one more thing that I actually this just came to me right now is I would think it'd be cool if what we did was create something along the lines of a mini map so basically instead of spawning our enemies directly here we could actually spawn them all the way down here, extending the room, but still showing the view of our, you know, our main uh, play area. But the mini map extends the view all the way down, so you know where the enemies are coming and where. So we can go ahead and look onto that. Probably not this tutorial. Probably next tutorial. Next tutorial, we're probably going to get onto the juicy effects of the game. So you know, rotating our our players so that it shoots cooler, and you know, maybe some power up stuff like that. Not quite sure yet, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's go ahead and create this health system. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new object here, and I'm going to call it OBJ Control. And in the draw event, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna say right here draw health bar and in here in the X I'm gonna say room room width divided by 2 minus and we're gonna say 64 now this right here coordinate system is a lot like what our bullets were with the vertices right so now our Y1 this is how far we want it, the starting point from down the screen. We're going to say 10. Our x2 is now going to be room width divided by 2 plus 128. So our total health bar, and I don't know this off the top of my head, maybe embarrassing, 192. So our total health bar width is going to be 192. All right. Now our Y2, this is how far the uh, uh, health bar extends down, which we can basically do, it starts at 10, so you want to know that it starts at 10. So we are going to say, uh, if we want the health bar's total width to be 64, then we're going to want to put 74. Now the amount, we're going to say hit points, and we haven't actually uh, created that yet. And let me just extend this so you guys can... See past that. We haven't actually created that uh, created that yet. So the back color, we're just gonna say C underscore black. The min minimum color is gonna say C red. The maximum color, we're gonna say C green. Direction is zero. Show back, we'll say false, and show border true. All right, so we're not actually gonna show the back. So if we go ahead and go into the create event here and we create a variable called hit points, we equal that to 100. And we go and plop this baby in the room here. Now there may be some debugging that we need to do. It may look off, it may look weird, but we can all, always uh, debug that and change the code around. And we don't actually see anything. Oh, that's because I put in two spawners. See, always check before you get in an uproar if something doesn't work because something that simple and stupid of actually putting in the spawner not the control tab may get you hours and hours of going what is going on here and then all of a sudden you realize oh yep we didn't put in the health bar or the uh, <laughs> the control object so okay um, this doesn't actually look too good I'm gonna be honest with you now something's off here our coordinates are not quite correct and that is because we need to let's go to the draw here 
and instead of minus 64 we say minus 128 and the width of it is actually a little bit large so I'm gonna say our y2 is gonna be 44 I also want some transparency here because I don't like how the health bar puts up a uh, portion of the screen so I'm gonna say draw set alpha 0 0.5 and then always when you're done, you gotta sandwich that back and say draw set alpha back to one. Just like our C white with our bullet, we always need to bring it back to that default value or else it's gonna mess up some things uh, later on in the code. So as you can see, all right, now that looks a lot better. Now we have a nice, cool, transparent background. And I like that, or not background, uh, health bar. I like that. So what we're gonna do is in our control, let's actually set this to global. We're going to create this a uh, global variable. And by setting a global means any object can basically uh, take that and use it. So always got to put global dot points in uh, front a global dot in front of any variable that you use if you want it global in the first initialization process. Okay. So then what we're going to do is say, all right, we're going to say in our object enemy in the step event if x is less than or equal to we'll say negative 64 global dot hit points minus equals 5 and instance destroy so if our player lets any enemies past us we're gonna lose health and that's basically why you want to kill these ships so if we go ahead and let one through, and the beauty with the game maker uh, built-in function is that you know it's got this cool little color pattern where it turns from green to red, and that's the min and max values that we put. So as you can see, now it is actually going down. Our health bar is going down, and as you can see, it's turning orange. It's kind of going, all right, yeah, we're not quite. Uh, we're not quite doing so well here in the game and it's slowly turning to that red and slowly but surely it will go down to nothing. So now let's go ahead and create the wave system. So what we're gonna do is in our control, we could just do it in our control here. We can create some variables and we're gonna create these global and I'm gonna say wave equals one. And I'm also gonna set alarm zero to equal room underscore speed minus and this is how many seconds it takes for our for the wave to increase so we'll say every 15 seconds so in alarm zero global dot wave plus plus now if plus plus doesn't work you can say plus equals one because uh, I know in some earlier game maker versions plus plus doesn't work so we'll just copy this and paste it down right there now we should make a uh, variable for this but I'm being lazy right now and, and I'm not all right so then what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, create this so draw text at we're gonna say X 10 Y 460, uh, we're going to say wave plus string global dot wave. We need to cast that to a string because it's an integer and GameMaker doesn't read it like that. So let's go ahead and run the game now and see if our placement with the text looks good. If it doesn't, what we need to change, etc. Et there we go. So as you can see, it now shows the wave, but it's going up more than once per second. So I don't know what the reason for that is actually. Ah, right, because yeah, we're not actually doing that. Instead of dividing, we need to multiply. And that will give us a 15 second delay before each wave. So now we're on wave one here. 
and in 15 seconds we'll get to wave two. So I paused it and I played it real quick, so it's not gonna be an exact 15 seconds for you. Ah, but there we go. And then it shoots back up again because I forgot in alarm zero to change it to multiply. So on top of this, we're also gonna create one last variable. It's gonna be global dot spawn. Or oh you know what? No, we already have that variable created. So in alarm zero, all we have to do is say obj spawn er dot underscore spawn rate minus equals 10 and we have to just check them if obj underscore spawner dot spawn rate is greater than 10 then do that because we don't want the spawn to ever go to zero ever so technically after wave 10 with this design our waves will not get any harder. But with that being said, you can for sure, if you follow this tutorial and have been understanding it, I'm sure you can figure out a way to, you know, actually, hold on, let's see the depth issues there. Yeah, we've got some depth issues. So here we're on wave three. So now technically you may not see it, but the but it is now actually getting harder because we're subtracting that initial spawn rate value which is giving us a more probable chance of an enemy ship spawning so here we're on wave four so really the spawn rate now is 60 now it's 50 so we've now just shrunk our spawn rate to 50 and it doesn't look like it actually is getting harder though Make sure everything's correct with the code. Yeah, it does look like everything is correct. Whoa, okay, we've got some ships. So yeah, it, it might actually be getting harder. But we are losing a lot of health. So now we're on wave 7. Just kind of destroying the ships here. Wave eight. We just got this last little bit of health and it's gone. Wave nine. And then wave ten. Should up here shortly so wave 10 so now we've got a 10 chance and, and now you can see that it actually got harder with the ships and that's where it really went came down to was that wave 10 all right so that's gonna be it for today go ahead, like go and subscribe and uh, I will see you in the next part peace